ready? Give me a whip in the middle again. Open it up. So, a win's a win, but given the turnovers and New Orleans' is shooting, can you say it's not necessarily the best effort you guys have had this season? What is the feeling after a win like this? Uh, I got a bit of taste in my mouth. Uh, definitely. Uh, we got to get better. And this is perfect time to do it. Finals is almost over with. And so, get in the gym more, be able to come to, come together as a team more and play hard every game. And I think that comes with having a lot of new guys that trying to keep the culture going. And uh, we just got to play hard. Uh, we can't we can't give teams like that the opportunity to come in here and play harder than us at all. And no team at home. And we, that's what we got to put our, you know, our brand on is playing hard. So how important? Uh, it's just exposing what uh, we need to work on, and it's better to know now than know mid mid conference time. So, it's very important that we get the kinks out right now and get ready for conference play. You know, get the freshmen ready because there's a whole new season started, and you know we're at the top and everybody's gunning gunning for you. So you got to be prepared every game, and you'll get everybody's best effort. When you face a team like this that came in with a two and five record, and not a lot of heavyweights on its schedule, how much do you even scout them as opposed to? just trying to iron out what you guys have done in previous games? Um, we scout every team the same, every game. Our next game is the biggest game of the year. So for us, this is our biggest game of the year because it's our current game. We scout them just as well as any other team. And they had some guys that we knew could come out and play. Like two dudes had over 15 points. So it's college basketball. You have to be ready for every team. Shot 50% from three-point range tonight. What was the key? Uh, drive and kick, they play aggressive on defense end and play out in the passing lanes. They're strong on the outside. So if you're strong on the outside, going to be weak on the inside, as Coach says. And uh, we, I think we drove the ball and we kick it. And we had open shots and we knocked them down. Back-to-back -back games prior to this against ranked teams with TCU and USC, was it, I know you had eight days off since your last game, but, but was it hard to get the energy and focus up for tonight? Uh, definitely not. I mean, we got to get back on the winning side, get back on uh, on track. And this game was big for us. And I told the freshman, this game is our biggest game. Like each game, this next game, our biggest game. But we had to get back on track. And we just lost to TCU. And uh, we just got to get back on track and get focused. As two of the older guys on the team, is that a hard sell to some of the young guys? Always the next game being the biggest game. Uh, sometimes, you know, they're young and. Uh, They'll get it. You know, it comes. It comes with time, and we just keep reiterating it to them every, each day, each game, and uh, they'll get it over time. Both so today and at TCU, Ethan started out pretty quick. How is he able to come out of the gate quick like that on a game in, game out basis? Uh, he stays in his role. I mean, he can knock down shots as we can see, and like I said, we we run a lot of stuff that. We put him in the best position to where he can score, and he just does the rest, really. With a guy that can shoot like that, especially at the four position, not a lot of fours are going to try to guard you at the three-point line, so the way he can shoot, he's just showing everybody what he can do. Jimmy, 8 of 11 tonight. Where, how do you go about picking your spots when you're running the offense? Um, <clears throat> I know the shots where I'm really good at making shots, and when you have shooters like Goo and Shake, and Dre, Ethan, it's – really not that hard because, you know, they're going to draw so much attention when you drive. I can pick literally my best spot where I want to feel like I can make it. So I think I can just chalk it up to guys like that, being able to shoot, and it helps me out a lot. Anything else? All right, thank you. Thank you.